In part A, we're asked to consider the algebraic expression and then identify each term along with its coefficient. So the algebraic expression is 4x to the fifth plus 3x to the fourth minus 22x squared minus x plus 17. And when we work with algebraic expressions, what we need to understand is that they really are all joined, the terms are joined by plus. So let's see what that looks like. If I write all the terms connected with a plus sign, that will help us to identify not only the terms, but the coefficients as well. So this is kind of going backwards from what we've done in the past to simplify. And you'll see why I did that here in a minute, plus negative one X plus 17. So everywhere I had a subtraction, I changed that to plus with a negative in parentheses. And for the part here where I'm subtracting X, there really is a one in front of the X. So I just put that as a negative one inside the parentheses. So if I want to list the terms, I'm just going to put the word terms here. Then the terms are the pieces of the expression that are joined by plus signs. So these are all the terms. So let's list them here, 4x to the fifth, and then I'm just going to put commas in between. 3x to the fourth, negative 22x squared, then negative, and I'm going to go ahead and put the 1 in front, even though we don't normally list when there's a 1, and 17. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms that make up this algebraic expression. The coefficients are the numbers that are in front of the variable parts of the terms. And so the coefficients are these numbers here, including their negatives. And I'm going to go ahead and list 17. Technically, that's called a constant term, but I'm going to go ahead and list 17 as a coefficient. So here are my coefficients. I'm going to separate them by commas, negative 22, negative 1, and then 17. So when you're writing out these pieces according to the definitions of vocabulary, remember that coefficients are just the numbers in front of the term, the variable in front of the variable part, and they do include the negatives. The terms are the actual entire building block, including the variable, and a negative sign if it exists. So let's take this information and apply it to part B. Again, I'm going to take this expression and I'm going to write it in terms of plus, joining everything with plus. So it's going to look a little bit weird. So this becomes plus negative 1m plus 1 half m cubed plus, now watch how I write this one, negative one-third m plus four. So let's be sure we got all the pluses and minuses right. So negative four m squared has a negative, negative m becomes negative one m, one-half m cubed is just positive, negative m over three becomes negative one-third m as a term, and then plus four. So let's list the terms. I'm just going to put a T this time. So I have negative 4m squared, negative 1m, 1 half m cubed, and negative 1 third m, and 4. And be careful when these fractions are present. This m third goes with the numerator, not with the denominator. So when we're writing our coefficients, I have negative 4 is the coefficient of negative 4m squared. Negative 1 is the coefficient of the negative m or negative 1m term. 1 half is the coefficient of 1 half m cubed. And negative 1 third is the coefficient of negative 1 third m. And remember that started as negative m over 3. 
and then I'm going to list the constant term for its coefficient is just 4.